Learning to trade is difficult enough on its own. You are dealing with uncertainty. You're putting yourself into stressful situations. You already know that most retail traders fail to become consistently profitable. And you have no idea how long it's going to take you to become a consistently profitable trader. So there's lots to deal with. However, there is also then external factors whilst you are learning how to trade. So what am I talking about when I say external factors? These are things like friends, family and work colleagues. I got an email at the end of last week, it was on Thursday or Friday, and this guy had a relatively similar experience to what I had when I was first learning how to trade. So not long after I had discovered trading, I sort of stumbled across the financial markets, CFDs and spread betting. I was out with my two best friends and we were in a bar. Conversation turned toward trading. And I said, I was learning how to trade. I was really interested. I found it exciting. And my overall goal, my ambition was that one day I would be able to trade full time. What do you think the reaction was from my two best friends? Were they encouraging? Were they interested? Were they excited because they could see how enthusiastic I was? No. <laughs> Almost before I had even finished speaking, one of my friends started laughing and he said, what the hell are you doing? You're an idiot. You're never going to be a trader. You're going to lose all of your money. So not exactly the reaction I was looking for or expecting. However, it's very, very common, unfortunately, and not just in trading. When you're learning to do anything new, if they consider it difficult, if you're starting a new business or you're um, starting to learn how to trade, whatever it is, if they consider it difficult, very often that's the kind of reaction you are going to receive. Now, it's very easy to say, you just brush it off. Yeah, it doesn't matter, whatever. However, a lot of the time it does influence us and it does impact us because it then turns into repetition. Every time you see these people, they say the same sort of things. How do you deal with these external factors whilst you are learning how to trade? There's a few different things you can do. Now, the first one is really simple. I'm gonna tell you a secret, it's very easy to implement. The first one is simply to realize that some people are assholes. That's it, that's how they're gonna react, that's the way that they are. Now, if they are assholes and that's how they react, if you are able to, remove yourself from them. If they're your friends and they're reacting like that, are they really your friends? Do they really have your best interest at heart? So, going back to my two friends, when I was learning how to trade, I don't really speak to them anymore. Yeah, it is just what it is. I started to realize that they weren't helping me, they weren't encouraging me, so what is the point, really, of the friendship? Now, what you also have to realize is a lot of the time, when people are saying things like this, it's for a slightly different reason. It's because they don't understand it, or if they do understand it, they think it's very difficult and they don't have the confidence that they could do it if they tried to do it. So what that does is in their head, it creates the, the suggestion that, well, if I can't do it, he or she must not be able to do it because if they can do it, that means they're better than me. And so what happens is they come out with those type of reactions, they attack and they belittle. Now, if it's in terms of people who are closer to you, your friends and your family members. That's not usually why they're reacting in that way. It's very different. They have your best interest at heart. They are worried about you. So when you say something like, I'm learning how to trade, they look at trading and they see risk. They see uncertainty. They think, I don't really know much about it, but what I do know isn't good. People lose money. It's very similar to gambling. And then they start to think things like, what if they quit their job and try and do this and it all falls apart? They're at university. What if they don't work on their degree and they start focusing on training and it doesn't work? They see danger. And what they're trying to do is remove you from the danger. They're trying to keep you safe. They're trying to help you. That's what you need to realize when it's people who are close to you. They are doing it from a good position, but what they're saying might not be helping you personally. So what can you do with it? Well, there's a couple of different things. 
The first thing is, you don't necessarily have to talk about what you're doing to everybody. If you're always getting these negative reactions, just don't bring it up around those people. If you can't remove yourself from them, so if it's your work colleagues, you can't get rid of your work colleagues, you just have to put up with it. So don't bring up what you're doing. Don't bring up your trading. Because if you do, you know you're gonna get the reactions of them looking at each other and smiling, or sneering, or giving you a negative comment. Saying something like, oh, hello, Wolf of Wall Street, whatever it may be. Now, if it's your friends and family who are close to you, and this is also going to help you when you're learning, reframe it in your own mind. When you talk to them about trading, or whatever it is that you're doing, you don't say just, I'm learning how to trade, or I'm learning how to trade and I wanna do this as a career. You start differently, you say, I've discovered trading and I'm interested in it. It's my new hobby. It's something that I want to learn more about. Because when you say it's a hobby, it's a lot less threatening. Also to yourself, it takes a lot of the pressure off your shoulders. It's a hobby, I wanna learn more about it. I'm just gonna use the money that I can afford to lose. It's the money that I would normally spend on nights out. Instead, I'm gonna put it into a trading account and I'm gonna see how I get on. See if I can start to improve this year. If you do that, it's very, very different. Suddenly they might think, seems like a pretty strange hobby, but then they'll think, oh well, he was always a little bit odd, just let him get on with it, whatever it may be. But for you, it also helps because you are sitting down at the computer thinking to yourself, it's a hobby. You're not thinking to yourself, I have to make this work. No matter what happens, I need to start making money. And it's not gonna make you put money that you don't or you can't afford into your trading account and start losing it, it's too much pressure. If it's a hobby, what does it suggest? It suggests that you can enjoy it. It suggests that you can take it slowly and if you're not enjoying it, you can have a break. It's removing the pressure, making it a lot easier. So those are a few different things you can do to help you deal with external factors. Now the other thing is to realize that a lot of the time, what you think is external factors is actually internal. So when your work colleagues, let's say, react like that, you think, oh, what these people are saying is really bad, but what's really bad is what's going on inside your own head. Because when they're saying those things, what's it doing? It's bringing up your own self-doubt. Inside you start to think, yeah, maybe they're right. Why do I think I can be a trader? Everyone else is failing and the self-doubt starts to build inside your head because it's always there. We always have a, an amount of self-doubt, an amount of worry, an amount of fear. And when you hear this from other people, it starts to give it room to grow inside of you. Again, how do you deal with it? You reframe it in your mind, back to the hobby, back to something that you enjoy and you want to learn more about. If you say it to them, it's gonna cut their reactions down. If you say it to yourself, it's gonna take the pressure off of your shoulders. Okay guys, that's everything for this week's video. As always, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you're all having a good trading month. We are now in March. I'm James Orr and thank you.